Welcome back boys and girls. So on the last video all we managed to do in 10 minutes was get the base assembled. So that was a little disappointing but uh, we're back now so this is part two of the build. So I'm going to rotate our little tray here. Part two So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting putting the base on, okay? So base goes on, and again it's a little uh, it's a little vague. It looks like it goes like this. Unfortunately, it can be installed either way, but uh, it looks like it's going to be installed this way with these flanges facing down, and all it takes is four hex bolts to tighten it and again if you go back to the schematic in the back it actually calls for not only the hex bolt but the washer so put the washers in we're going to swap out the Phillips bit we're going to put in the 13 mil socket and socket adapter whenever you're using this make sure that you go slow you don't want to cross thread anything and even better tip that I can give you is hand thread everything first. I like to do diagonals so that it kind of uh, uh, centers everything for you. Make sure that it's threading in by hand, that you're not cross threading it. And then uh, to tighten it up with this uh, impactor, we're going to give it a couple dugga duggas or ugga duggas, whatever you want to call them. It's basically a couple of rattles or clicks. So they're hand they're hand threaded. Again, cross threaded or cross pattern tightening. Everything's nice and tight. Couple of duggas. Couple of duggas. We're done on that one. So number three is actually mounting uh, the unit itself. So these, uh, good thing we put it on the right way, because again, it doesn't really, um, doesn't really tell you what side to put it on, but these things need to be facing the motor and the, sh and the shroud when we put this up there. So I'm hopefully going to be able to do this unassisted. We're going to... have all this stuff ready. So I had everything kind of built up so that I knew where uh, all my parts were, but I'm just going to undo everything right now because uh, I think time's going to be of the essence when we put this guy up there. So it's got a bit of weight. So it's basically, it's basically uh, balanced up there right now. But we're going to drop in all four bolts. We're going to set it up so it's approximately center of this flange right here. Washer on the bottom. Nut on the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to hand tighten that down so that we're getting some balance, some support from this unit. That way she's not going to fall over, or if she does it'll take a lot to have it fall over. set this up so that it's approximately centered. So you're going to want to see a little bit of each of that uh, slot in this post up here. You're going to want to see a little bit of that exposed. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly tighten. No 
Duggas on this one. Maybe one. So that way, things aren't going to fall over. So I'm just going to adjust the camera hair here. I know you don't want to see my face, but I'm going to have to. So what we're going to do now. table saw. Actually, we're going to turn this right around. Sorry, we're going to turn it right around. And the carpet now is acting as a bit of a, uh, a slip resistor. So, we've got the shroud to put on, and we've got this rubber gasket. switch to the uh, to the 10 mil socket because that's what this takes this is going to be a little difficult I think get this thing to sit in here while I try to drive in. And I'd actually prefer to do this on the ground. But I think we're going to just try this right now. Yeah, that's kind of a bugger, isn't it? I think what we're going to do instead, we're going to get all these bolts in. Again, I'd really like to have this on the floor, but we're already set up this way. So it's a matter of preference for you folks out there. And we're installing the gasket the way that they've got it, or at least I think the way that they've got it, because again, the instructions aren't the greatest. And the problem with doing this is that we may drop some of the bolts, but hopefully this will get things set up in the right spot. like this to help out others that might be in the same situation. I know that gasket's there for a reason, but man, is it ever a bugger. Here, folks is we're gonna pause this one and we're gonna pick up when I'm in a better position so we'll see you on the next one <laughs>